What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this way we're going to check out a function of the extension 1001 bit tools. Before we get started, I want to thank my two newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Joe Duquette and Randall Rod. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on this channel is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and they voted on a new 1001-bit tools tutorial. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So 1001-bit tools, as a lot of you may remember, is basically a, a collection of architectural tools contained within SketchUp. So um, I will link to where you can download those in the notes down below, but these tools basically allow you to do a whole bunch of different things. So everything from adding different guides and drawing faces on planes, there's a whole bunch of different architectural tools in here, as well as tools a little later on for building walls and openings and things like that. And as I was going through kind of prepping for this video, I came across a feature that I had kind of like glossed over before and I wanted to make a video about it because I really like the, um, I, I really like the effects that you can create using this tool and so what I wanted to focus on on this one is the horizontal groove lines so and somehow I kind of glossed over this one in my last video um, that I did on 1001 bit tools but basically the way that this works is it'll create groove lines on your face um, so if you select a face this will create grooves so like for example if I double click inside this wall and I run that oops and I select this face then this is gonna give me the option to create grooves inside of this face. So this lets me set the depth um, as well as the height of this groove and it'll create as many grooves as I want it to create on this wall. So like for example, if I wanted this to create three grooves um, and I will leave all these other spacings as is, if I click on create grooves, then it's going to let me add these to this wall. And so what what it asks for first is the start level. So it asks where we want it to start. So in this case, if I was to start this on the base, then your first groove would start right at the base of this face. And you can see how this spacing goes up for as high as we want it to go for as many copies as we want it to go. So in this case, let's say that the, our wall was 10 feet tall and we wanted to create grooves running along this face. Well, um, what we could do is we could say that we want 10 grooves at a spacing of 12 inches. And then we could click Create Grooves, and it'll ask us for our start point, which at this point, at this location, will be the bottom of this wall. And this will actually come in here, and this will add these grooves on this face. And you can see how these are actually um, deep geometry in here, or these, these are actually like inside the face on here. And one function about this that I really like is not only will this do this on a single face, if I was to select all of these faces by clicking and dragging from right to left, you can see how all of these get selected. And then if I run this same tool, create the grooves, and click on this base point, it's actually gonna come in here and it's gonna add these along this entire face. So you can see how this is really useful for adding these grooves really quickly. Um, so this is really great for creating like architectural features and things like that. And so another example would be, let's say you had a series of walls like this one that turned a corner. If you were to select all of these faces and do the same thing, so create horizontal grooves, I'm gonna click create grooves and click on this point, these grooves will actually run all the way along this L-shaped face. So you can see how adding this in here, um, this will do this really quickly. Um, and I really like the, uh, the effects that you can create in here. And one thing I don't really like about it is it doesn't let you do vertical lines, it only lets you do the horizontal lines, but you can kind of find a workaround. So let's say for example, we've got our base wall here that's 10 feet tall. We'll go ahead and select all of these faces and we'll create our 10 grooves in here. You can see how we don't have anything on this vertical face because I created it separately. Well, what you could do in this case is this is kind of a workaround, but um, let's say for example that I was to take this group, which I had grouped this wall separately and you would have to kind of set this up separately, but you could take this and turn it 90 degrees and let's this is 30 feet long. So we could do the same thing with our grooves where we would select our faces and in this case, what I would do is I would set my groove spacing still to a foot and I would do 30 grooves this time and create my grooves and just kind of do this the same way. I just click on this point point. 
And this will take a little while because it's creating a lot of geometry inside of SketchUp. But you can see how I was able to come in here and kind of work around the uh, vertical limitation. So it you do have to be a little bit careful because you can see how this is actually creating extra geometry over by the origin. So you do need to kind of be aware of that. And in this case, I'm just going to delete that back out. But then I could just take this object. I could rotate it back 90 degrees. And I could move this right here. So you can use this um, with kind of a workaround to create vertical grooves in here as well as horizontal grooves. Though it is it is a little bit of extra work in order to do that. You might also have to kind of play around with uh, the way that you create this in condition a little bit. So you might want to like inset that a little bit or something like that. But you can see how with a little planning you can create kind of vertical accent grooves as well. And what I really like about this is you can use this for multiple different faces, um, kind of around openings like this as well. So if I come in here and select all of these different faces, and then I was to run this, you could either create your grooves. I think in this case, this is about 37 feet tall. So I'm just going to um, put this up to probably 38. So you can see how I'm able to come in here and add these um, so that they go around the windows really easily as well. And so you can do this all the way that we're around the outside of your building. Then you could come in here and color these up or whatever you want to do. Now you do have to be a little bit careful because this is all created as raw geometry. And so it's all kind of merged together. And so if you start moving things around, that doesn't necessarily work super well just because all that geometry is merged. But you can definitely use this to really quickly add these accent pieces to things like your building. Building. And then the last thing I want to talk about is not only can you create grooves that go inside your wall, but if you were to set this so that your groove depth goes the other direction, so if you set a groove depth of like negative 60 inches or something like that and then click create your grooves, and I'll go ahead and just click on this corner right here, and I probably need to adjust my spacing. No, that's okay. You can see how this will actually come in here and this will create um, what this extension would probably consider a negative groove, um, meaning that instead of making this go inside, this will go outside. So you can also use this to create sunshades and different things like that. And it's really easy to do. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know this extension had this function? Could you see yourself using it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.